Hey, it's Electric Canuck. Welcome back to another video. It has been a while. As I shoot this video, it is October 1st, and if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you start thinking about That's right, something is coming. It starts with the letter S, has four letters, and you shovel it. That's right, snow. <laughs> snow is coming. And when snow's coming, you wanna make sure that your Tesla has some really great all weather mats or winter mats. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Back in the day, it was a little bit difficult to get a hold of good all weather kind of mats or winter mats for your Tesla, whether it was a Model Y, Model 3. S or X, there just didn't seem to be much supply in the marketplace. And a lot of the supply that was there, uh, they were from like kind of little dodgy sources. There were a few good ones out there, but a lot of dodgy stuff on your Amazons and that kind of stuff. Uh, my good friends at Jawa have sent me some winter mats to take a look at and to show you guys. And I've tried a lot of brands over the years and the stuff from Jawa, I like it. It seems to have uh, a lot more focus on quality on how it's engineered and usability. We'll talk about those things, but first let's take the mats out, take a look at them, see what you get in the box. Okay, in the box is pretty straightforward. You're gonna get your driver's front mat, you've got your passenger front mat, and then you have your, your rear mat here that goes across uh, both sides. And uh, we talked a little bit about, or I talked a little bit about in the last segment, that Jawa has uh, a focus on quality and they think about things in terms of usability. And one of the things that I like here is it's got this spot that uh, basically it can hold things, you know, like uh, an umbrella, for example. Now, I'm not sure I would use that on the driver's side because you never want to risk some having something roll down to your feet when you're driving. Uh, but little innovations like that, I think, set Jawa apart. The other thing I like is that the branding is very subtle. It's not in your face. I've seen some mats where the branding is really in your face. And, you know, unless it's Tesla in your face, I really don't want to see some other brand. So it's very subtle. It's in the background. You don't even notice it. And uh, what else can I tell you about these? Uh, according to the website, they are non-slip. And I will put them in the car. We will do a fit test in a moment. But first, I've got a little test coming up. Let's go. So for this test, you know, sometimes you get into your car and you've got like a lot of snow all over the place on your shoes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, can it hold a lot of water? I've got here a gallon of water, which is about 3.79 uh, liters. This is a US gallon. And uh, let's see if it can hold a gallon of water. That would be about eight pounds of water. So uh, let's, take a, let's take a look here, see if it works. Okay, we're gonna get back to the test in just a moment. I know what you might be thinking right now that this kind of a test, it's a little bit of, you know, grandstanding, maybe some theater, that kind of stuff. And, but I want you to hear me out for a moment. Let's just say that before going back to your Tesla, you found yourself stuck inside a Zamboni. And then you're coming back to your car and you've got about eight pounds of snow on your shoes. You wanna make sure that your mats have you covered. And yes, this kind of stuff happens in Canada. gallon of water. All right, let's take a look at the fit and finish of these mats and how well they fit, that kind of good stuff. So they are precision molded, so they fit perfectly uh, into the vehicle. No issue with the fit. They do feel very, um, like I'm really trying to slip them here. So they do feel quite non-slip. Let's go take a look at the back. And same thing here, we can see that it fits absolutely perfectly. And right over here is, this is where you can store an umbrella. I don't happen to have one, uh, but you could put an umbrella or something else. It's got this little piece here that sticks up that will make sure that it doesn't roll around. Uh, take a look on their website. It's actually quite ingenious. I think it's a great little feature. Uh, they all have this on all of the seats. Uh, but again, I probably would not use that for the driver's seat because you don't want anything risking, you know, rolling around by your feet there when you're driving. Okay, taking a look at the passenger side here just to round things out. And as you can see, again, we've got some nice fit here and it's clearly, you know, precision fit on all sides. Here's again for an umbrella you could put there so it doesn't roll around. Um, just, you know, very beautifully well made. And again, they are very non-slip. You don't have to worry about these slipping, uh, which is fantastic. 
In conclusion, you can see that these are really nice mats. They're precision cut. I think that they're gonna serve you really well. They've got neat little features such as where you can store you know, an umbrella. Uh, they are non-slip. You know, these are really nicely made mats. Now, how much do they cost and where can you get them? They cost 225 uh, US dollars as of the time of making this video. And they do uh, have free shipping available, whether it's in Canada or the United States. And I'm not sure about the rest of the globe, but uh, do check out their site. Uh, now, if you use my link and my code, you will get a 5% discount. And uh, you'd also be supporting the channel. So I thank you very much for that. If you're interested in buying mats, do take a look at these ones. I think they're great. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, it was really nice to get back on that horse and make a video. And uh, I love doing that for you guys. Electric Canuck, over now. Bye.